the certain, so believe that I be doing it. People ain't understanding my passion for these action figures. I put the picture up, you better caption it. I ain't a super soldier, powers came to me by accident. I get the package and I open it with no delay. Barry a Wolverine, you know, where they show his face. Flow like the Kree, ready to destroy a race. ML collection going heavy at a steady pace. Action figure collector, bro, I'm a fly dude. Crossover, Spider-Man versus Ryu. Then I throw a DCU, see in the mix. And you, yeah, I'm repping for three and three quarter inch, man. Yeah, I got a swag you can never get. ACBA, we repping it. What's up, guys? Things coming at you. That was one of the new intros for the ACBA community channel. It's done by JC, really tight verse. So make sure you go check it out to see all the pictures that are put together with the actual intro itself. Really good stuff. So I just want to show you a quick display before I got into the actual showcase. Right, so what I'd like to do this week is I'm showcasing shows that I actually watch. You know, now. Um, I try to watch everybody's videos that I'm subscribed to and you know whether it's while I'm changing my kid I got the videos playing in the background you know hooked up to my TV or you know or I watch them on my mobile phone or you know my you know whatever I try to catch up on everybody but these are three shows that I catch like every week and and these guys are big dogs in the community so it's not like you know everybody that's probably subbed to me is already subbed to these guys so but I just want to show love back to these guys. These are actually three guys that got me started into collecting also. So it's not like I just picked up on their channel. You know, from day one, from me being on YouTube, which is a little bit over a year now, um, I've watched all three of these guys from day one. And, you know, I really like how everything has progressed along the way. And now they, they come out with shows, steady. You know, every week you can count on these guys to put something out and it's always entertaining so let me just get into it so the first guy is Red Hulk 80 um, and I'm just gonna show you a little piece of his video while I'm talking here um, and what I like is you know he's got this huge chill room and he just shows off all of his collection which is massive and just awesome and it's not just one thing I mean there's stuff from back when I was a kid you know that really brings me back and now Red Hulk is one of the guys that made me really want to improve on my displaying. You know, he, uh, the way he always was displaying his figures just really blew me away. Him and Hulk smash everything. They just, you know, they would team up and have their displays and, you know, they would be chilling, you know, doing it right. And I just love the way they do it. And it always made me want to step up my game and pose my figures better and, you know, get into the whole posing game. Um, so... Yeah, definitely. And he's his show's name is uh, Chillin' with Red Hulk 80. And he puts one out every single Saturday. Um, it's a different portion of his room now. It used to be, you know, him, before he moved into his new place, he used to have, like, he would pull out figures here and there. And I loved when he made those displays. Just pulled out random stuff and just set it up, you know, right before he moved and stuff. But now it's more of he's got everything set up. He moves some stuff around here and there. But it's still awesome. I mean, just the stuff he does is amazing. And I like how he's starting to get back to his roots a little bit here and just making, you know, displays left and right. And it's just, you know, one of the best in the game, definitely. So the next so. guy I want to talk about is JRA Nightmare. Uh, he comes out with a show every week called Super Sunday. And he's got a real passion for collecting. He has his hands in everything. So he's not just one line. He's got multiple lines. He does, like, Marvel, DC, Transformers, Star Wars, Spawn, McFarlane toys like uh, football, baseball. He's got NECA. I mean, you name it. He's he's bought something of it, so he knows what he's talking about. You know, I watch his show, and if he gives something a good review, he's really positive about almost all the toys. But you know, he's he tells the truth about stuff, and it's the truth is, if you like it, go collect it. You know what I mean? So it doesn't matter what anybody else says. Um, including himself, you know, and he'll say that. He'll be the first one to say that. You know, if you like it, go collect it. That's all you got to do. So uh, another thing I like, let me just scan through his video really quick because I want to show you something. He does, uh, oh, here he just picked up one of the MU uh, Sentinels and he's showing it off against the other one. So he does, like, comparisons all the time, and he's got enough stuff to show you stuff like that. Uh, I'm looking for, he did, he does, here it is, um, underrated 
figures of the week, and he does an ML, a DCU, um, an MU figure. So like here he's showing the Spider-Man Classics Tarantula. Uh, let's see. Then here he's showing the Kid Flash for the DC, and then I think he shows Cap Britton in this one. Yeah, Cap Britton for the MU. So, you know, he does a lot for the community. He's really supportive and everything like that. So, yeah, big ups to JR. All right, and the last show I watch is MTIT, Mean Time in Between Time. And, of course, it's from Book Nice Time. Uh, like I said before, these three guys are a main reason why I got into collecting, got into ACBA, got into posing and all that stuff. And these three guys are a main reason why I stay in it. So... Um, and Boog's a big part of it, and he does his MTIT, it's his behind the scenes thing, and he's actually the one that made me want to do the, my behind the scenes stuff, because watching his videos, he's actually, he commented on one of my videos where I talked for the first time, he's like, man, you need to do more of that, you know, get more involved with the community and everything like that, show off some stuff that you do, and so I took his advice and I did it, and I got a great response from it, so... I've been doing it ever since. So, you know, not only him getting me involved with more of the posing, you know, I was doing some posing videos, but, you know, watching him, I was like, man, I, I want to come really crispy with my stuff, you know, so I want to get my cutouts really on point, you know, and I started cutting my cutouts really close, you know, and and he commented right away, he's like, man, that looks really good, you know, because when he first started doing his cutouts, they were kind of, you know, just circled around him. And uh, I think he told me and Mr. Marvelicious, like, oh, I like the way you guys do your cutouts. And he started doing it like that ever since, you know. I think Marvelicious was the first guy to really cut them close. But, you know, and then I started doing it too. And, you know, now everybody should be doing it. You know, that's the way it should look. But, you know, teach their own. Anyways, back to Boog's uh, MTIT. He shows you a little bit of everything every week. It's always something new. And what I really like, I don't know if it's in this video or not, but... He show, oh, here we go. Yeah, he shows, you know, the way he gets to places. I love it. Like, he'll show his train, you know, going down to the comic shop. Or right there, he shows walking over to the uh, San Diego Comic Con. And, you know, and the thing I want to bring up about Bug that a lot of people really don't talk about. They always talk about his posing and uh, the ACBA and how he's knowledgeable about his figures and everything like that. But nobody ever brings up about the FSP, man, the free ship pool. I mean, a lot of people comment on his videos and stuff like that, but I never see anybody, like, bring it up in, like, a media and everything like that. What he does is he gives away free stuff to kids. I mean, a lot of us donate from the community, but this was all Boog's brainchild and everything like that. And he gives it away to the younger collectors to get them started, you know. And he puts together some real nice prize packages every month. And, you know, I know the kids appreciate it, and I know, you know, I could use some free stuff too, Boog, you know, but <laughs> anyways, but I know, you know, a lot of people have really supported it, but you need to talk about it a little bit more, you know, I, I mean, we need to support Boog a little bit more in that aspect of it, so I got some more donations I'm going to be sending off to him soon, as soon as I can, I'm trying to make up some more cutouts before I do that, but um, yeah, so anyways, Red Hulk 80, JRA Nightmare, and Boog Nice 10 consistent every week putting out a show uh, sometimes it might be a little bit late or something like that but you always see something from these guys and it's always entertaining so make sure you go check out all their shows and that's the last it. thing I want to tell you guys is next week I want to do another showcase show and what I want to do is I want to showcase your guys videos so not just your channels you know of course I'll talk about your channel also but I want to showcase an individual video so if there's a video from the past or even one a new one that you want to make um, what I'd like for you to do is post a video response to this video and I'm gonna pick the three best and I'm gonna showcase it for next week so if you think there's a video that just hasn't had enough views on it that you might have or you know if, there, if you're a new artist or something like that and you want to show some stuff off or you know maybe I'm not subscribed to you and I really don't know too much about you you know show me your video show me some of your work and I'll definitely show it off to everybody else next week um, so yeah, that's the whole plan, but, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, one thing before I go is I want to show you, now I've been reading this Ultimate stuff, and actually JRA is the one that got me into reading the Ultimates altogether. 
him and Boog talked about it, but the way JR described it is what made me want to read it. So I got into the Death of Spider-Man, and I went back and I picked up almost all the trades of the Ultimate Spider-Man. They're great. But it led into the Ultimate Fallout, which has been a great series. And it's been leading up to the only book I picked up this week, actually, which is Ultimate Fallout number 4. And this is where we see who's going to take on the Spider-Man role. I'm not going to put any spoilers out there or anything like that, but go pick this book up and read it. This is amazing. I love the way Marvel's doing this, um, where they're going with the character. Bendis, I mean, what can I say? I love Bendis, but Hickman's jumped on, and uh, it's just it's stepped it up even more. I mean, I didn't think you could get any better with this whole title, but as soon as Hickman got on it, it's like, wow. I mean, it's even better than I ever expected, so... Uh, definitely pick this up and check out what's going on and I'm going to be reading a lot more of this so that's it guys see you next week make sure you put some good looking videos up you know if you want to get showcased so all right peace